One, two, one, two, you already know I go by Nino DeNero, Mr. New Trends, New Friends. I'm live at the studio with my man, Trucker Brown. I thought it was just Trucker at first, but this is Mr. Hustle Five Ways himself. How you doing, Mr. Trucker Brown? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Hey, man, I'm all right, man. I appreciate the sit down, man. I definitely do. No problem, man. So no problem. What, what, what brings you in town? Uh, did you just come from a long trip, or? I was out for, uh, for two months. For two months, that's all over the country. Um, and I think the last one I was on, I went from Oregon to here. When you say he was out for two months, that means he was like gone from your, your house that you live at, mm -hmm. like he wasn't able to sleep in your bed for two months? Well, I mean, it's more like I'm living in the truck. So I, I actually sleep better in the truck than I do if I was outside of the truck, because I've, I've been in it so much. But it's seven days a week, 60 days straight. No stopping, no nothing until you get back here. And, and what made you want to get into this trucker field? Uh, homelessness at first. I was, um, I went from homeless to the truck. So once I, I kept trying to get into trucking, but I had messed my license up when I was young, young. So I couldn't get into like 26. And they finally said, yes, trucking company send you a ticket. You get on the bus or plane or whatever you're gonna do. You get there, you get your license for free, and you drive it. I ain't stopped since. Now, 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 driving a big truck, and you just said you wanted to do it for a long time. Yeah. How can you transition from driving a little teeny car and then mm -hmm. driving one of the big old trucks that you have? Because when you, you just talk about it so smooth, yeah, I wanted to drive a truck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's difficult to get in one of them big old trucks. Eh, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't as difficult as you think. And now they're automatic. What do you mean? It's just like a car. You just turn it on, push drive, and it goes. So I was going to ask that, like, because so, it got all them big buttons and stuff. And Nah, it ain't this. that bad. Two, get your lights on, hit drive, make sure your air is right, you out of here. And you, you just, you. That's pretty much it. I feel like if, if you are willing, from that position, if you're coming from poverty like that, you're going to do it. And then you're hearing the stories about dudes making two, three, four thousand dollars a week. You like, yeah, I'm, I'm get, I'm gonna figure it out. So now, are those stories, are those stories true about people making that type of money? Definitely. That is, that's a true statement. Like, I mean, I'm a owner operator, lease operator. It goes back and forth, but I'm a lease operator. So if I do seven thousand in gross, I'm gonna walk away with four thousand dollars. Now, now you're talking about this big money stuff, and it just threw all my questions off because I saw in one of your YouTube videos a long time ago you were mm -hmm. talking about people when they first start out. They, they think they're gonna make all this type of money. Mm -hmm. So how is that transitioning from when you first started it to now? Do you think that you would be making the amount of money that you're making right now? Well, I mean, you gotta start from the bottom. When you first get in, you're gonna go to a company that's gonna pay you cents per mile. And once you do that, you're gonna have to do that for a while and then you're gonna end up going lease. Then you got an option to either train or just be solo. You probably get your money up from six, 700 to about 13 to 1500 a week. Then once you have about two or three years, you can get to a smaller company like me. I work for RST. It's a smaller company. The bills are lower on the truck. And then you'll start seeing two, three, four thousand dollars in, in a week. But nothing in trucking is a week. That's where they get the dudes to sign in. They say, oh, you're gonna make four grand a week. That's not true. You may do four, 1100, 2300, three, negative thousand. Like you don't know what you're gonna get. It's a roll of the dice. Do you, do you think that inside of your rolling the dice, as you, you know, as you just put it, do you think that it's worth it though? Because some people, I, some people hear them type big money that you're speaking, and they say everybody can't go out and do that. Cause they bitches. <laughs> talk that talk. <laughs> I mean, it's a fact. Like right. I, I'm, I know this shit intimately. Like this what do, this what bitches do. They gonna get in their truck. They gonna run three, four months. They gonna miss the chick, and they gonna quit out. They gonna come back here. I think. Canada Drive, the street, Coca-Cola. They're gonna go to Coca-Cola, they're gonna pay them $700, $800 a week, and they're gonna do that. And then after a while, they're gonna get tired of making that money, and they're just out of the game. That's just how, that's how, that's how bitch niggas do. That's just how it works. They, they, don't, they don't know how to survive. They don't know how to survive, and they can't, they can't, um, because this is my button right here, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go on the full No, go ahead, we wanna hear, we wanna hear, we wanna know about these, excuse me, people. I ain't gonna say the word, I can't say it, but he can say it. Yes. We wanna know about these people. The vices, most of the guys you talk to, they wanna get back for either women. And this is Harry and up coming back home. Yeah. Not staying on the road like you just came. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I've been on the road six years flat. They not about to do that. They wanna come home for women, partying, alcohol, 
some of it's marijuana or whatever else. They, they want to come back for vices. And when they start making money, they want to be able to show off. You got to think about it. If you work Monday to Friday and you off on the weekend, you work hard, you get to floss on the weekend. You can't do that in trucking. I can be walking around with $40,000 and have done it before. And I'm still like in Walmart shorts in the truck. Like there's no one to show it off for. So what they do is they, they quit out. They get a pretty decent job locally. Maybe they making $1,300 a week. They get a Chrysler 300, knock a chick up, and that's it. It's a wrap. Now, now what's one of the downfalls in that? Because you, you got into your business, mm -hmm. you into the big trucks. Now, have you ever maybe like backed into something and then that money had to come out of your pocket? Or how does yeah. that work in the truck business? Because well, them big old trucks on the road, <laughs> I be getting scared. <laughs> I've never been in a uh, ticketable accident. Okay. But I did one time when me and a buddy of mine we were unloading buses. We were taking the little short buses off the truck. And I had backed up and I, in one of the buses and I busted the window. That cost me like, like $400. And that's at all your six years, that's all you had? That's all I've hit. Well, I mean, I've moved some trash cans around and some shit like that, but nothing that would right, actually right, right. cost money. So, so, so you never hit nothing. You're driving these big trucks. They make all these types of money, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you always talked about, well, you talked about learning and running. Did I say yeah, that right? Yeah, learning and running. That's a big deal. Could we, could we get into that learning and running? Well, um, I'm sorry I'm going everywhere because these trucking, I didn't got inspired for, by your trucking. Yeah. So I got so many I had questions and things about the trucking. So it's a, it's a big industry, but if you're learning and running, what you got to learn is you have to learn that time in trucking, there is no nanny. There's no supervisor there. Mm. So I'm going to give you a load, and this load could be coming from Oregon to here. That's going to take four days. Once I give you the load, that's it. You by yourself. What will end up happening is if you're not self-motivated or self-disciplined, people start slacking off on how much they driving for the day. Uh, they, they got girlfriends, or they veering off to go see chicks in different cities. And, and then they end up making the load late. If you're a lease operator or owner operator, that's your money. They charge you for that. So now you done took a $5,000 load. Yeah, and you done turned it into, after the fuel, you done messed the load up. Mm. Only one that hurts is you. So it takes discipline. So a lot of cats who don't want to have to have self-discipline, they will put out to local because how, it's more I don't mean to cut you off, though, but how can these people, because you just said somebody's walking around with 40, I got 40, I got five, I got $10 in my pocket. I want to go spend it. Mm. How can I learn this discipline and how can I be like, okay, I'm going back on the road because you, you come here saying it, but you give me $20, mm -hmm. I might gotta go have a little fun. I'm just saying. Well, that's, well, that's <laughs> with the the the, um, the programming of, of uh, I'm not gonna get too deep in it because I, I go in, but the, the, the programming of, of department stores with the materialism in American culture. That's how we are. So back in the day, before there was credit, there was department stores. The department stores, for your wife to get you a, a vacuum cleaner, they came up with, oh, just give us $10 a week. And then what that did was hike the price of, of the uh, uh, of vacuum, vacuum cleaners. cleaners. just went up. Then next thing you know, everybody wanted credit. So now they want everything in the department store. But then, then all of the marketing starts switching to now commercials got real. Now it was like, oh, buy your wife this toaster, buy this, this. Right. It gets worse and worse and worse to the point where we at now, whereas that we look at our money as spending capital, not investment capital. Mm. So now if I give you five bands right now, you gonna think about what you can buy, what you can now purchase. Now we're not doing the best. You got a channel. Oh. You could have took that five grand, got a laptop, a computer, this and that, and did it. But you didn't do that. Right. You got some shoes, did this, probably got a Went bag. Went to the club, club had some fun, had a women. couple drinks. That's a wrap. That you have to take your. Another thing that helps too is not watching TV. Mm. But where does this come from? I mean, like, do you, was your parents or somebody? Or what, what the people oh, around no. you gave you this motivation? My parents was off the chain, though. They won't. Nah. The, um, well, when you get in the truck, you decompress from TV. And TVs was doing it. In the whole other no outside world. Yeah, and they, yeah, they're not, you're not around people influencing you. And you just in the truck 11 hours a day, just lying. So what you end up start doing, you start listening to podcasts. Mm -hmm. And then you start listening to, sometimes you may go to the black conscious community and they talking all this. And then you start looking at, what I started doing was listening to documentaries. I, at one point, I had watched every documentary on Netflix. I just watched documentary. I would listen to them driving down the street. Knowledge and, and, and knowledge, and some knowledge. Also, Netflix doesn't have commercials, and that's what's programming. You watching your football game 
it switched to a Lexus. Now you need Lexus. It switched to fashion. It switched to this. And that, and it, it's flashed and it's programming in your mind. That's why they call it TV programming. So once you, once you finish with that, now all of a sudden, if you do get a bag, I want a Lexus. Why? That commercial just came in the back of my brain hey, 30 times. Listen, three Lexus. You dropping jewels. I hope y'all paying attention. That, that's <laughs> a fact. So once you decompress from TV, if you went home right now and said, I don't watch no TV that has commercials. I only watch stuff like Netflix where there's no commercials. You'll notice that your thinking pattern will be different than people who watch TV. Because so you're the program of the TV program. Bingo. How, now, now, how does someone like yourself go in the truck and we have adversities that we go through in life. Mm -hmm. And one of your, I don't know if you remember, but like one of your second videos that you posted, you was talking about adversity. Mm -hmm. You know, and then being as though you have all these women, mm -hmm. we have all these drugs, mm -hmm. we have all these shoes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. How can we tune, how can someone else tune that stuff out? Like I know you said you're, all, you're, you're always on the road and stuff like that, but you hustle five ways. Mm -hmm. So how can someone that's not on the road and not seeing lines tune that type of stuff out? Because I know just the trucking didn't give you this mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So how can someone else? It's like, your circle. Yeah. That's number one. Mm. It's your circle. If it's, I tell you like an old white man, and I'm gonna say white man because that's what he was. Okay. An old white man told me, he said that, I can show you five millionaires and one broke person and someone's about to be a millionaire. I can show you six broke people and one millionaire and someone's about to be broke. Mm. That's deep right there. You might to... yeah. Run that back for me again. <laughs> five millionaires <laughs> and one broke person, someone's about to be a millionaire. I can show you Ooh. five broke people and one millionaire, someone's about to be broke. It's all about your circle. MC Hammer made how many millions? All them broke cats was around him. He ended up broke. He got it back though, but he right. ended up broke. All right, right. There you go. So how can I change up my circle? Because I need to start hanging around. Fuck them. Get rid of them. How, what? Get rid of them. But I, I, these my friends. Fuck friends. <laughs> he said no friends That's in fact. business. I had 26 friends before I went to trucking. That's the only one I, that talks to me from back then. <laughs> when I went homeless, I eventually got to be able to go stay at his mom's house sleep on the floor. And what's your so, friend's name back there for the people who don't know? Mayday Dre. Mayday, Mayday Dre. Dre. They, Shout out Mayday yeah, Dre. They done seen him on the channel. Yo, Shane. So, so, that's the only friend from back there. I don't have none of the other ones. And you just let them all go. You say, this will, we're going to stick to these plans. Listen. And people, if you're not in this circle of what I'm trying to do, Fuck. I see you later. I can't say that. Oh, I see you later. Okay. Well, <laughs> this channel ain't monetized yet, so you can definitely say fuck you. But, but no, I, I, I got rid of them because my thing is this, in family members too. I write family members out of my family. Mm. I'll just tell them you're out of the family. I think, to, I also say myself, like some people that I don't know, like me, we're just meeting and stuff like that. We can mm. kick it more than actually your family member will yeah. kick it to you. Like they, they want to wait until you, until after you got 10,000 followers yeah. and nice cars. And they then they, oh yeah, remember when I gave you yeah. that little? That $20? Yeah, that little? Yeah, now but, they want 20 bands. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How do you how do you change like the stigma? You know what I mean. And truck drivers like drive. I don't, I don't mean to go somewhere else, but no. these regular people like myself, we're, we get scared of truck drivers and stuff like that. So how is like the stigma? You know, of truck drivers driving people off the roads and stuff like that. I mean, it's really y'all. I mean, truck drivers for the most part have a handle on the truck, but four wheelers, y'all want to die most of the time. Like like if if you. If I'm driving down the street at 70 miles an hour and you pull off of a side road and do 25, you don't want to be on the earth anymore. Like, there's no way for me to stop the truck. It's, a lot of it is them not knowing about trucks is which was So you guys have to, basically, we have to give them the right of way no matter what. Not even the right of way, you just got to know if you're going to get in front of me, speed up. Or if I can't see you, if the truck is here and the trailer's here and you just stay right there under my tire, I don't even know you're there. So I can switch lanes and crunch goes away, you're done. That's really what makes us run into you. And back in the day, they didn't have regulations. So, so if, if you places. can tell a person like myself who can't drive, I got my license from Walmart, mm -hmm. and you drive 80 miles per hour, I'm sorry, 50 miles an hour down the road, and mm -hmm. you got somewhere to be, what would you tell someone like myself that's about to merge in that ramp? Like you just said, slow down or speed up. But what would you, like, what was, speed up. how can you change my mentality? Because I'm scared when I come across that ramp. There's no way to do it unless, unless they start incorporating some truck training and people getting their license. 
if they start inquiring that in there. Until then, y'all just gonna die. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Did you have to? <laughs> it's the fact. God, sorry, guys. You're gonna die. Like, if you play around with a truck, you will not be living. That's true, and that's the true fact. And I'm not gonna laugh. But yeah. That's true. Because you, you can slam on the brake. It takes me a minute to stop. I've been ran over you and your kids by then. So you just stay away from trucks. Don't sit in their blind spots. Stop. I have people who will pull in front of me, flick me off, slam the brakes. Like Speaking of that, yeah. you said flicking off, but I'm crazy at Hustle Five Ways, right? Mm -hmm. What's the Hong Kong about? Because sometimes when the Hong Kong, you get to, mm -hmm. I mean, do you go like this and you get the Hong Kong, but then you get the Hong Kong and the ladies want to. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, women like truckers, man. <laughs> You didn't have, you didn't just sit back on me hey, like that, listen, did you? <laughs> there are trucker groupies, believe it or not. You know, I don't partake. I'm just saying that I've, I've heard. You've heard something yeah. that has been around, been around. I mean, women, think about it. I think if you were, if you was a chick, you can get this trucker OTR guy. What's, and what's OTR guy? OTR is over before. the road. I thought, it said, I thought it was on the road, but it's, what is it? What, it, it, on, or is it, okay. whatever you want to call it. Gotcha. But I come into town every month. Gotcha. So she can have you come in this weekend and another trucker come in that weekend and she can tell us the same thing. I need 400 for the rent. She can say that every single time. That's why they like truckers. Ooh. The old head put me up on that. I ain't think about that one. That was good. I was, I was like, really? That's happening? He says, man, why do you think these chicks like truckers so much? Because you got to go. Mm. You can stay for two days, then you gone. Then it's like her other boyfriend that live around there or the other trucker comes into town. Now, these other truckers and stuff like that, like, is there, because in your videos you talked about it also, is there jealousy amongst the truck drivers and stuff oh, like that? Oh, man. Bro. Do you know how many people hate me, bro? Like truck drivers? Bro, they hate, they, let me tell you something. They hate my guts, bro. Like, people that act, you're cold people. Are y'all, what do they call, what do they call cold truck drivers? I mean, yeah, I guess my, my, I don't know, cold conspirators. I don't know what you want to call them. <laughs> they but said they hate, why? even the other people who do what I do on the internet, mm -hmm. they just hate me. So why? Why do you think that? I mean, I'm a dick, dude. What are you gonna do? Like, I'm, I, I say what I want to say. It is what it is. I say the truth is a fact. I say shit like, what get me in trouble is, I say if, if, if you get into the game and you go local too quick, you ain't trying to get money. That pisses people off who went local. Gotcha. And I, you know, I don't, what I really mean to say is that you least need to stay out here a certain amount of time to get yourself in the situation to go local. But the 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 the, the, um, the excuses that they give me for going local, to me, are they're not they're not good enough. So I end up lashing out, and then that's where the most of the problems come from. So basically, you think is that you say what they want to say, and they scared to say, or you do what they scared to do. I do what the most of them can do. They know I'm staying out as long as me. Now, before we, fact, you, you, you're on the road. They they ain't, they ain't putting in three months like you. No. No. Oh, there's cats out here that don't drive no more than four days out. You sure? I'm gonna have to go look in this trucking game. You sure you on the road all this time? Son, I'm out there. You out there? That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. Now, now, before I get out of here, right, you know, and it was a pleasure, mm -hmm. Mr. Trucker, bro, and yeah. I got, I went so everywhere because this truck, I never thought about trucking before until I started looking at your videos, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it really let me know that y'all are hustlers like us because I didn't think like truck driving and hustling. I just thought about truck drivers driving big trucks, but this actually, they, it, man. they actually out here hustling and trying to get That's it like we trying to get it. We got the trucks and stuff like that, man. Mm -hmm. and, and I know it's hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. And everybody can't keep their composure. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember back in one of your YouTube videos, <laughs> back in the video, back in, back in one of your old YouTube videos, I saw that you, you had a moment for a second. You had a moment where truck driving, you had to let them know what was on your mind. And I got a video I want to show you real quick. And I just yeah. want, I want to get your opinion on, on how you was feeling this day. Okay. <laughs> hey, I can't do to the best of my potential because you're always dealing with so many other things other than driving. That's the thing that's annoying. I want to drive, man. Why y'all fucking, oh, we can't find it. Um, well, this is the location. I don't know where that is. Then why the fuck are you alive, dog? Like, why are you here? Why the fuck are you here? You have no point in being here. You're a waste of fucking space. You're sitting here getting a fucking union check, looking at me like Somebody I'm the fucking scumbag. You don't even know what the fuck the load is. That shit's annoying, man. Now, now, that thing right there, I want to know what was going through your mind and why was you so upset? Because at the ports, they're union. Okay. They're going to get paid same regardless. 
they getting paid buku money. So if you come or not, they don't care. I'm gonna get $43 an hour, like it doesn't matter to them. So I'm sitting waiting and they'll just have you wait. But see, I'm on the clock. I got a 14 hour clock. He burned, it take me an hour to get there. He burned four hours. Then I gotta get to make sure the truck is right another hour. I can't get to my destination. I could lose $2,000 in a day. Right. They don't care. Right. And to me, you should not live. Like, you should be able to be executed in real life. Like, I don't think you should be able to breathe. Yeah, because they messing up your, time, your clock. Not even me. Think of how, there's a, a 300,000 truckers going in there a day. Think of how many families you're affecting because, hey, I'm union, I'm gonna get the same check anyway. I just don't like how you abusing your position like that. Because these truckers depend on you being fast. Because I got to pick this load up and make it three, 400 miles down the road to drop it in the morning to make it back so I can try to make me $1,500, $2,000 in a week from where I was back then. But they don't, they, they don't even tell you. Right. That ain't my problem. That day, they just, they had you steamed up. Cause you st you started, I, I don't know if you saw, but even, you you had, you even hit one of them. <laughs> I don't know about so, so I, I get mad at people messing so, with my money, man, when it's un, it's unnecessary. Dude, your only job is to drop it on there and go like this. But like, why, why are you not doing it? And I'm sitting here, and at the end of the day, the trucking company don't care. We don't get paid regardless. That messes my week up. I can mess up my week and owe $2,000. I was, I was gonna, I had, I had a, uh, I had a question about you losing fourteen hundred dollars on the job one day. I forgot what the name was of this. You didn't put something on your paperwork, no stock or no, off. It was something, no contain, empty container. When you first empty container, cost nah, you about fourteen hundred dollars or something. Nah, that like was that? party hard. <laughs> yeah, party hard lost that money. Oh, that was, the, oh, that was yeah. the other guy. Yeah, I think I dropped it on my channel though. But party hard lost that money, and they do little things like that. Everything costs the driver, dog. It don't matter what it is. So, so speaking of the driver stuff like that, and I, I'm just getting on to the money situation, mm -hmm. right? Is there any other hustles that you got and stuff like that? Because I know I saw that you had the YouTube stuff going on. Let's let's get into something else. What other type of hustles do you really? Well, I'm working on the real estate thing with my business partner, and that's basically just finding the perfect building where the how much it costs and, and the many units that it's gonna make sense. So we're trying to find the perfect building. So that's just percolating. Uh, I put my credit from 300 to 756 to put me in that position to do it. Yeah. You did what? It was, I was like a 385. I was terrible. Dude. And you learning all this stuff on your own? Just driving down the street listening to documentaries. And plus I used, uh, Dean Cole helped me with a lot of the ins and outs. That's someone you need to talk to too, Dean Cole. He's a uh, He's an advisor and he helps people get business credit and stuff like that. So he helped me work through that. And um, so right now I'm working with the realtor to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Cause now I got credit and money, but what am I doing with it? Right. I, I'm pricing Bentleys, like for real. Like I really wanna see you if I can get- You need to go get some more trucks in there. Nah, <laughs> I don't see, that's the thing, I don't like truckers like that. So I don't wanna know truckers <laughs> calling me though. Like, I don't wanna hear that. You ain't, truck, you ain't friends with the other truckers and stuff. I have a few trucker friends, but for the most part, I'm not interested in having multiple truckers calling me every day. Yeah. It's cool though, so I don't wanna hear that. So we got I mean? the real estate, we got the trucking. I'm, I'm doing the photography thing. I'm officially, my, 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 my pictures are officially selling on uh, Adobe Stock. You say, say that again? Photography, I'm taking pictures and selling them online. So you mean like you're like, uh, uh, the, you might take a picture of the water? The water, landscape, oh, buildings, wow. uh, if they're not copyrighted. Anything, because when you think about it, a travel photographer, and my job is to travel, Everywhere so it's, too. it's perfect. Yes. So I'm just learning my little situation with that, and that's gonna be a whole nother check. What, what would you think is one of the best pictures that you took? Um, it gotta be when I was in Washington, I took a picture of a bird, and it was hazy, and it was like an island in the back. It's on my My Nikon page. Yeah, that's the one that Mac like. It's a, I have an Instagram page just for photography called My Life, My Nikon, and that's, that's the one that did the best right there. And to me, it, it's therapeutic. I didn't know you get paid from it, but you can upload it and get paid from it. So that's, a, that's another hustle I'm trying to do as well. You, you, you hustling all around the board. And then while network. Do you have a, fa do you have a family, kids, anything like that? I have that? one child. I ain't having no more kids, and I don't believe in marriage. I was gonna say, how does that affect your family? So, nah. why, why don't you believe in marriage? Because it's stupid. 
Like, why? Though? A lot. The, um, um, everyone in America it's says stupid. you have to get married. And all of them are mentally retarded. Okay, give me, I need, I need the example. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a better one. Okay. This contract. Okay. If you mess up, we'll figure it out. You may have to pay a fine, but you can keep all your stuff and half your money. Okay. All your money. This contract, if you mess up, I'm getting half of everything you got. Now, right now, which one would you sign? <laughs> I'm married. You're gonna, go with, you're gonna go with this one. So if you're gonna go with this one, why did you sign this one in real life? I'm just gonna say, because in America, you know, I can't get into all that. Yeah, <laughs> you can, you can get into it. You just don't want your old lady to see it, I don't know what So what's one of the best things, you know, inside of your hustling and all that, you know, you said your best picture was the picture that you took, mm -hmm. but inside of all your hustling and everything that you do, what, what excites you? Because since you do so much, what, what can someone say that ex excites you? <gasps> Meeting new people who work as hard as me at doing what we do. Like meeting Mac, that's exciting because we're here now, Right. everything's up. Right. Running into someone like you, that's exciting because you are excited about what you do. Right. Meeting this person, meeting that person, uh, and traveling now. I'm about to get my passport, I'm about to be jumping off of cliffs, <laughs> all that, like it's all that's about to be real. That's it. Flying, I don't like flying. I'm basically in my mind living my life like I got cancer. I want to live like this is the last year I'm going to live. So I'm doing everything. I don't care what it is. I'm not bungee jumping, though. No, I'm not doing that. But you, you ain't going up there. You I ain't can't going skydive up. either because I'm too big. So what are you going to do? But uh, I'm jumping off That's quite a bucket. So you're doing your bucket list. Yeah, but I'm just going to do that every year. Yes. I'm just going to write a new bucket list every year and just do it every year. That's, it, that's, it. that's why I'm doing the daily vlog. And that's what excites me right now because in trucking, it got so, so visceral with the people with the crap, just, I don't want to name who's, it could, it could be me, I'm a jerk, I get it, but it got to that point where I just didn't want no more to do with it. I'm just like, I'm gonna drop my content, and that's it. I'm gonna switch over to the vlogs, because it's positive. That's a main thing, too. I don't want to be around constantly negative content. Like, I'm just, I've done that, as you've seen, I don't want to do that no more. Like, I want to do things that are positive, because when you do that, you attract positive people. And it's just, and I don't want no more negative energy around me. So what can you say that for all your people and all your people watching, they see you all the time, you post videos all the time, mm -hmm. but what don't they know about you? Um... Oh, that's a hard question. Shout out to Mac, he told me that question too. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure Mac didn't. That sounds like something Mac would come up with. Hey, try this right here, it's a mess them up. Um, what they don't know about me, I'm 10 times more focused than I look on camera. That's hard. I'm you, a fanatic, you, like, you all day. Focused. It don't matter what time of the day, what day, what holiday. If you call me, I'm gonna be able to talk about it. Like, I don't care. What? Since you're, t you're focused all the time, what is the downfall then? Because we all have we all have highs. Mm -hmm. What's the low or something you think that you need to work on on yourself? Because me, myself, my thing is learning different avenues, learning new people. I, ha I have to learn to venture out and learn people on YouTube, learn these different channels. Mm -hmm. What would you say is one of your downfalls that you have to pick up? Uh... Yeah. I'll have to say... Uh... Man, time management. You know, because on one hand, I'm a trucker, but if I would limit what I'm doing in trucking, I could be doing this more. But if I do this more, I'm making less money with trucking. So it's like, you know. It's, not enough hours in the day. Not enough hours in the day. That's I, my biggest. I totally time. understand. And if I could do a 45 hour day, I would. So, Mr. Trucker, we wrapping this up to our last couple questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And this, it, this was a dope interview, I just yeah. want to say. But before we get out of here, what's something that you have up and coming or something that you you, you, you didn't tell the people about yet and you might want to let them know right now? A uh, few things. Private jet tour. A what? Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm working on that with Mac to, to get on a private jet and be able to experience the private jet. So that's part of what I'm doing is just experiencing things. I'm also starting a daily vlog that I'm trying to commit to on the Sean Brown channel, that's my third channel. And um, 
I want the truck show, largest truck show in the world, uh, country, the national something in Detroit, and VidCon. Those are the things I got coming up. You got all these things coming up. Yeah. We were just talking about time. How you gonna get it done? <laughs> you either gonna do it or not. That's how I get down. We got a lot of cats is partying. I'm doing this. Doing what you gotta do. It's time. It's time for it. Do you, so do you see yourself? What do you, so this year now, you've had these accomplishments, you've been driving trucks. What do you see yourself five years from now? Or not even five years from next year around this time, what do you see yourself? Next year around this time, I'm hoping to be at 100,000 subs on the Trucker Brown channel. I'm hoping by then, I'm hoping my channel make more than my truck a month. And uh, hope to still be creating. That's all I, I just hope to still be creating, still be in the help to create. And that's it. As far as anything grand, I'm just taking it day by day. Smooth, smoothing it on out. Listen, I'm always gonna be doing something. So you got the Trucker Brown channel. Tell them how they how did they find you on all your on your all your YouTube channels, uh, your Instagram channels. <laughs> you got deep Facebook. How how they find Mr. Brown? You can find me on Instagram with at Trucker Brown or My Life My Nikon. You can find me on the Sean Brown channel on YouTube, the Trucker Brown channel on YouTube, or this channel, Wild Network. Wild Network, Hustle Five Ways, Trucker Brown, Kirk Camp Studios, No Narcissus Family. It's, it's, it's crazy. Mr. Mr. Brown, mm -hmm. thank you again. No I appreciate problem. I got one last question for yeah. you. How, how, how was smoking them things when you're driving on the road? Hey, you gotta have something to do, man. You gotta have something to do. But I mean, it's really, I don't don't smoke this. It's, I guess it's bad because it is nicotine, but it's better than cigarettes. Better than cigarettes. Yeah. If y'all don't know, Hustle Five Ways, Nino De Nero, we out of here. Bow! <laughs> Bang. We Thank in you, there. sir. No problem. Hey, that was